Hi there, welcome to my channel, um, OCD Obsessed Life. My name is Elizabeth. Hope everybody is doing well today. Um, I'm a little better than I was yesterday. Yesterday and the day before I was very, very sick. Sorry if it's a little shaky, I am using my selfie stick just so I can have a better view. Like my shirt. Get out of my car for the my son is being crazy. There's my dog. Anyways, for my first official, official entry, I want to talk about my struggles. Yes, struggles through life besides just regular painstaking getting through the world. I have been dealing with this since I was about seven years old. And I really would just like to stop dealing with it. It's called trichotillomania. I mean, whatever. Say hi to my dog. Say hi. He's a good dog. But anyways. Anyways, on part two, or take two, I should say. Trichotillomania is a um, disorder where you have the urge, or you feel the urge to pull out your hair. And um, I have gone through stretches of, or at least a couple years of my life without doing it but this last stint which has been about six seven years has been the worst it's like since i since i got pregnant with my first child my only child that little boy right there it's like i just can't control it and it's not like i want to keep doing it but that's all i think about is my hair not just on my head my eyes and not just my eyes, but other places. And trust me, y'all don't want me to go there. But anyways, it all started when um, when I was about seven years old. I don't really remember the exact time or why I even started doing it. But um, I do remember one of the times that I did do it. I was trying to get one of my best friends to to come in with it for me, you know, to join me in my hair pulling process. It helped with stress. I didn't know that there was even a name for it at that age. I'm 28 years old now. 7 and to 28, 21 years old. It's the hardest addiction to break up with. Worse than, worse than smoking cigarettes or biting your nails. I mean, it's awful. But anyways, she was able to, to break it. I mean, she obviously didn't do it as long as me. What are you doing, Bam Bam? But anyways, stress, you know, and I've, I've read things on the internet, you know, to relieve stress, get away from what is help, what is making you stress out. Well, you can't really do that when it's your life, when it's your, you know, your child or your, or your husband or, or your friends that could be making you want to do it. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Say, bye, I need to get away from y'all for a long time or something. No, you can't. And I've tried the whole therapy thing before. Who wants to go to therapy and talk about their problems and be like, and how does that make you feel? And then they give you these weird looks like you're, like you're disease or something when you tell them that you pull your hair out. I don't want this. I didn't ask for this. Why couldn't I have been fat and pretty instead? You know? But at least I did put some purple in my hair today. I didn't want to look pretty, so I put on some makeup. Let's check out my channel. Oh, yes. My son is going to have a channel, too, coming up soon. So keep a lookout for that. I will be I posting a link on video. there. Anyways, I will post a, um, what's it called? Um, a link eventually when him and our son, and our, uh, my husband has a channel. But, um, uh, check out my website. It's with Wix. I haven't paid for the I domain really name have... yet, but I will soon. So check it out. It is Obsessed, OCD, Obsessed Live from Wix. It should be on my about part of my channel, you know. And I don't know anybody else who deals with this. Um, well, I did at one point, but she was also able to beat it. And she, her disease or her disorder wasn't nearly as bad as mine. I mean, look at this. I haven't been able to wear nothing on my head in uh, like three years i don't even want to show anybody but y'all can see from just like right there that it is that bad i mean and my hair is so thin my hair is, used to be a lot thicker ah, b 
<laughs> it used to be a lot thicker than this. And I had beautiful, beautiful long lashes. Right now, you can only see just like a little. My makeup's a little messed up too. My hope is to get out of this, is to not only document my triumph, hopefully, by sharing with everyone, you know, what helps me, hopefully, with getting rid of this dis thinking disorder, disease. Fucking, I hate it. And hopefully meet other people who struggle with the same things that I go through. Because no one understands what goes through your head. They say, it's easy. It's so easy, just don't do it. You don't know what's going through our heads. It's all we can think about. Even at night, that's why I sleep with my dog beside me. So all my hands can be on him and not my hair. I mean, now I even wear wigs too sometimes. I like to wear wigs, you know, I, I have different reasons. I tell different reasons on why I wear wigs. You know, well, A, my hair, my hair is short and I don't have much hair. And you can style and do different hairdos and different hair colors without actually destroying your hair. But, anyways. So, check out my, my website. Check out my, my Instagram account. Check out my Facebook. OCD Obsessed Life. I'm not just going to talk about OCD either, you know. OCD is a broad range of disorders, you know. You've got people who touch, has to touch things in a certain way, which I have that a little bit. And then you got dermatillomania, which is skin picking. I do that just a teeny bit. So I guess I'm a self-cannibalism, I guess. Because I bite my nails. I can't help it, okay? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I want to get my skeletons out of the closet. I'm hoping that getting my skeletons out of the closet will help me get better. And I hope I can help one of y'all. Please, if you like my channel, like my video, subscribe. Leave me a comment below. The first few people that subscribe and leave me a comment, I'll give y'all a shout out next time on my next video. So please, don't forget to check out my website. Love y'all. And don't forget to check out my new book.